Hi all, this is something I picked up at the weekend. This is the uh, Marconi Instruments TF1101 RC Oscillator and it's a bit of a beast. It's a highly stable uh, AF signal source used for testing uh, amplifiers and things. It's uh, got a range from 20 kilocycles up to 20k. Um, it's got a highly accurate uh, attenuator that looks to be in 10 dB steps. It's got a bandpass filter here, a 1 uh, kilocycle um, or kilohertz filter, which evidently reduces the harmonic distortion down to 0.1%. It's the range, uh, your level, I guess you set that for best level. Um, as your frequency for changing the frequency, sorry, your frequency knob for changing the frequency. And inside here is uh, a huge, great uh, airspace capacitor, um, like you'd see inside an old radio. I've taken the covers off, so uh, let's have a look inside. This one dates from uh, early 1960s, I believe. This is where the tuning uh, or the airspace capacitor is in this box and we'll have a look at it when I go and clean it up. It's a little bit dusty. I'll uh, take this box off and we'll have a look at it. Huge great transformer on it, mains transformer. This has got push-pull output. This section here is the HT uh, supply section. Um, that's obviously a 5Z4G rectifier. That's a 6CD6G, that's a voltage regulator. Um, and then you've got a control valve and a voltage reference, a valve for voltage reference there, which is an E, sorry, a 5651. Never heard of that one. I never heard of this one either, and it's a bit of a monster. But it's very well built. This one uh, started off being owned by the military because I can still see the uh, the arrowhead sticker on the front and then it looked like it was sold to Ultra, uh, Ultra Electronics, which is the old radio manufacturer. Um, where's the top cover? I'll show you. There's the... Now Ultra made radios in the UK quite a famous manufacturer um, and when when their radio business died they um, went into uh, control systems interesting it's got a visitor <laughs> 23rd of June 1994 that's when it was last calibrated 24th of June 1994 but uh, yeah, I love this old stuff. Let's swing it around and have a look at all the interesting side. It's a bit of a lump. I'd seen one of these in pictures and a lot of the uh, a lot of the test equipment I have upstairs, it says uh, to be serviced, or it says um, best service by one of these TF1101 RC oscillators. So I thought, oh yeah, I'd love to get one. And now I've got one. I didn't realise how big they were. That's the other side of the mains transformer. This is the secondary with all the HT and uh, heater uh, connections. Center tap there. I don't know if I mentioned this is push pull output as well. So it's extremely stable. This must be the output transformer, I guess. Not sure. These electrolytics have been checked on the 12th of September 1975. These two, for sure, are not originals. I think they should be like that. But so whoever's done it has done a good job on it. I notice this one. It's got a little bit of gunge coming out the uh, vent hole. Yeah. Oops, excuse me. A little bit of gunge just there. So that'll need to be replaced. It's looking a bit crusty around the terminals, actually. But uh, that's the attenuator with probably select on test resistors and all need cleaning these film caps that will probably have to go and these, I love these welling resistors I think, I think they're welling with 
the uh, sort of handwritten values on them. And Colvin pots, only the best. Colvin pots inside. Should be fun to get working. So what I'm going to do is uh, clean it up. It obviously needs a little bit of oil here and there. And uh, probably the switches need some deoxid on them. Yeah, they do. And uh, I'll make another video with it working. I don't want to just plug it in. Especially now I've seen that. Never a good idea just to plug things in. Let's have a look at the back side. It's got a wooden receptacle here for the old British three pin plug. There's the mains lead, someone's cut the plug off. And that I guess would have sat up there with a plug in there. Of course we use uh, square pins now, so I wouldn't be able to fit anything in there. And there's the uh, tapping so it can be used around the world I guess. Three fuses, two at 3 amp and one at 250 milliamps. Let's have a last look at that big old transformer. Hmm. What a beast that is. So yeah, I actually thought, as I mentioned, this was going to be a lot smaller. It looks smaller than it is in fact, as it weighs, I don't know, about 30 pounds I guess. Just love it though. Right, I'll do another video when, uh, well, hopefully if I get it working. There you go, the Marconi TF1101.